Hey, what's up guys? It's Ice Hello, what are you here to bring you another video? So to be honest, I've been kind of trying to avoid talking about the whole Chris drama that's been happening recently, but at this point, it's really getting out of hand. I'm actually going to be defending Chris, so if you disagree with that, then you might as well click off this video. So, I was actually surprised to wake up to see that Sunny V2 got involved in this situation at all. I mean, before this whole situation, I was kind of neutral about Sunny V2 because he just kind of made 10 minute documentary videos, so sometimes they're a need to watch. But overall, I never really had a real reason to dislike like this guy. So today, I'm going to go over the points that are really weird takes, or just flat out don't make sense at all. Alright, without further ado, let's just get right into this. For example, on the 6th of January 2023, Beast Reacts uploaded a video titled I Strapped a GoPro to a Fish, in which Chris dressed in a way that prompted comments such as, Chris has been adopting more and more traits that remind me of my grandmother. Okay, so some people just gonna ignore Chris's nails? Chris had to have lost a bet, the look is getting wild. So this is something I've noticed from his channel that he just puts other people's opinions on there instead of his own. It just feels like he's trying to make a cop out by saying, oh, I'm not saying this, other people are. Let's check out the next one. True catalyst for Chris Tyson's feminization instead seemed to have come from his marriage. In January 2022, Chris would post a photo with his wife to his Instagram, yet after this, the family photo stopped altogether. Fans also noticed that he'd removed his wedding ring, with the ring's absence correlating perfectly with the very first post in which he'd painted his nails. Chris confirmed the split in a post from March 2023, reading, For a little over a year now, me and Katie have been separated, with this also confirmed that Chris's transformation began as soon as his marriage came to an end. Chris went from lighting campfires and raising a family with his beautiful wife to now trying to be a wife with his man buns and long nails. Now, I know Chris Tyson is a public figure, okay? But this segment feels so invasive. Like, he's going through his family photos as evidence. I don't know exactly what Sonny V2 was thinking, but Chris Tyson is still a real person. This isn't just a simple thing where you can say, oh, he's just doing it for the paycheck. He's just using parts of his life from a real human life to make a case for a video. I understand these are public images, but did he really have to show his kid? Alright, next clip. Maybe everybody was simply too busy opening packages, but Chris did make these bizarre jokes about Jimmy being female, making him incredibly uncomfortable. Oh my god, Jimmy, look, they drew you. Jimmy, they drew you so well. It looks just like you. Oh, yes. Oh my god, it's Jimmy. How did fan art? This is what we were looking for. Be brave, be honest, be kind, Mr. Beast. That is my tagline. Becoming even weirder when each member started to pay each other compliments. Hey, nice shirt. Thanks, dude, nice shirt. Hey, nice shirt. Oh. Thanks, dude. Nice shirt. Thanks. Nice shirt. Nice shoes. For the most part, the live stream was devoid of awkward moments. This part of the video was honestly completely stupid, considering that obviously a live stream is going to be very different from a scripted and planned video. But he frames it as the reason why they're being awkward and quiet is because of Chris's change. Now, none of these takes said so far come close to the amount of stupidity he had for the last take. Chris, who implied that there'll be millions of queer kids who look up to him, although this doesn't necessarily mean that it'll add any value to the videos. Mr. Beast has likely cultivated a massive LGBT audience, all of whom are already watching anyway, and if we've learned anything from Hollywood in recent years, it's that adding over-the-top LGBT characters for the sake of relatability rarely works as intended, and is often nothing more than a distraction from the premise of the movie or video. Okay, so first off, like I said earlier, Chris Tyson is a real human being, not just some character created for a show. He is a real human being. And his whole point goes off of assuming what is Mr. Beast fandom mainly consists of. Quick thing to note, he's already receiving criticism about this take that he's given. In fact, it got so messy that even Mr. Beast responded to this video. Honestly, I fail to see why it's such a huge problem that Chris is the way he is. Like, he's not even hurting anyone or anything, so I fail to really see any issue. Now, Sonny V2, basically this whole video was saying that Chris should think about the business before their own emotions and feelings, and that is a really unusual and pretty bad take to have. It's because he's framing it like Chris is going to end up killing Mr. Beast's channel just for changing. 
And come on, do you really think this is going to kill Mr. Beast's channel, the guy that's literally under controversy like every other day? So yes, that would be my conclusion. There's nothing wrong. Mr. Beast even said it himself that him and Chris are still friends, so there's really nothing to worry about and freak out about here. Alright, and with that, I think I'm just going to end the video right here. Remember to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Alright, Ace Holler 180 signing out.